How's it going everyone? Spencer Reynolds here with Fuji Kura Golf and welcome to our final installment of our YouTube series that is all about VeloCore technology. We've talked about the tech, we've talked about Ventus, Ventus TR, and now finally we're going to talk about our newest shaft, Axiom Iron Shafts. So this is the first iron shaft to integrate VeloCore technology. I'm here with Andrew, our tour representative. Andrew also heads up our consumer testing department and he's going to walk us through some things that we saw in testing, what that discovery process was like, and how we got that technology packed into a set of irons. Let's do it. Okay, Andrew, so let's get into it. Let's talk about VeloCore technology integrated into an iron shaft. So truly a labor of love. You've tested this thing absolutely to death. So this is about a two year process mm -hmm. to get this development going. And, and I wanna set this up a little bit before you, you go into what you saw in testing. And um, a lot of the, the feedback that we got from consumers and even some tour professionals were, if this technology is so great, when can we see it throughout the bag? You know, we've done it in woods, both driver fairway, we have a hybrid option as well. And the truth is we were working on that all along. Uh, but our big mission was if we were going to integrate a technology that has really just been reserved for the wood line into a brand new family of product, we had to be sure that it met and delivered on all the same performance benefits that we've spoken about before. So when we talk about VeloCore technology, one of the key components is that idea of consistency and accuracy. And also, you know, improved, increased ball speeds, um, we want, want tighter dispersion patterns both north and south and east to west and essentially how can we package that into an iron. Now one of your challenges on the testing side was starting to understand what is it that players are really looking for performance wise in an iron, right? So this is a little bit different than the typical home run derby. When you fit a driver, players want to know how fast I can hit it, how far it goes and then I need it to go pretty straight too. But when you start fitting irons, you look at that in reverse. So what are some of the things that you noticed in initial testing, some, some things basically on the consumer side you know, whether that's launch characteristics, overall performance characteristics, you know, things that you would look for to make a player a better iron player. Yeah, and so when we integrated VelaCore into Axiom, what we're really looking for is a little more launch, a little more spin, and because of that, we got more added control. Um, and players, like you said, are trying to hit a specific number with their irons. They're not trying to hit the longest seven iron they can possibly hit. They want to hit a specific number over and over again and tighten that north-south dispersion as well as the east-west dispersion. Um, and so we saw really consistent spin numbers. They were higher than about the average, you know, other products that we tested against. Uh, we saw increased ball speeds as a result of people hitting the center of the face more mm -hmm. often. Um, not that it's a bad thing to have a faster ball speed in the iron, mm -hmm. um, but with that added launch, spin, and speed, players are able to maintain their numbers, but also have some added stopping power. And so we're looking at peak height, uh, descent angle, and things like that that are really, you know, metrics that we look at in iron in order to control them and score with our irons. And so uh, we saw that Axiom hit all those numbers really well. Uh, we saw that players were able to get some some tighter dispersion, some faster speed, and more importantly, a lot more control over their irons. That's great. And, and I want to talk a little bit about kind of launch and spin. You know that spin has kind of become a little bit of a hot word, right? Some people are very afraid of spin. Some people need more spin. It's very contingent on the player. So when we're looking at, you know, Axiom being offered to one profile versus a Ventus line of product where you have a red, a blue, and a black, this is kind of a singular profile, you know, one of the things we tried to do was meet a metric that this could perform for all ball speeds, right, and all different player types. And when we talk about increased spin, that's really, you know, perhaps it's increased from what we tested against, both internally and, and competitive product, but really we're wanting that to fall more in line with the idea that iron loss are getting a little bit stronger, and uh, manufacturers have done a tremendous job of doing things like moving CG and adding tungsten weight and making those irons launch higher. But this is really circling in on the idea of using spin as control. So uh, I think one thing you even talked about in testing with players is when they start to hear things like you're increasing speed and you're increasing spin and launch, their concern is, well, does it balloon into the air? And we actually ran a test. You ran a test um, on a driving range outdoors into the wind with higher ball speed players, that 125X configuration. Did you see any sort of ballooning happen? Did you see any loss of distance? Or was it a, a combination of a higher ball flight, higher spin, but still penetrating carry distance. Yeah, we didn't see any any ballooning at all uh, with that combo of being able to have some more speed with it. Players are able to also flight the ball down as well, take some spin off. And so 
it, it worked really well into the wind and we didn't see any sort of ballooning added spin or loss of distance. That's fantastic. So we are offering an Axiom in three different basically weight classes to start. You would have a traditional graphite weight, which would be 75 gram, sort of a midweight where midweight graphite and lightweight steel are, that 105 category. And then for the first time, we have a 125X configuration that really is for the stronger, faster player, maybe players that like things that are a little bit more stout overall in feel. Um, and we've tested all three across all categories and seen awesome results all the way down from you've had a player fit into 75R2 and we've had a player fit, many players fit into 125X. Um, so the, the core of this is really the same thing that we touched on when we talk about the Ventus wood line. We're keeping VeloCore technology and once we have a centerpiece that is a very stable platform, we can build different weights, configurations, bend profiles, all based around that. But it's really that core tech that allows all these products to be consistent and to be higher performing on miss hit shots, incredible on on center shots, and just consistent across the board. All right, thanks everyone for watching. It's been fun sharing with you exactly sort of the inside the ropes version of how we got to VeloCore, the products that's in. We've broken that down. We've looked at tour stats. We've talked about product testing on the consumer side. Um, hopefully you guys have learned a lot about the process, what we go through when we're developing new products. Andrew, thanks for hanging out with us today. You guys, if you would like to get fit for any Fujikura products, please visit our website and locate a charter dealer near you. They have all the options available to fit you to play your best golf. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.